Hi guys, it's November 27, 2018. This migrant caravan, so much evidence is coming out that it is, it is, it absolutely is orchestrated. And there are so many organizations involved, which I will show you in one second. I want to thank the subscriber who sent along or dropped a link in the comment section below one of my videos, Border Agent talks about who he thinks is behind the migrant caravans. Listen to what he has to say. What about the, uh, you know, the caravans themselves? Do you think they've, they've been sort of aided and abetted here by, by outside groups? Well, certainly. The buses provided them along the way and, all, and a lot of the aid they've received had to be paid for by someone. Who might that have been? I don't know. I'd love to see the news media do its job so we can find out. And, uh, you know, what uh, happened here yesterday, we've seen some of those images of, uh, you know, children getting uh, uh, tear gas and, and so on. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, outcry about that. What's, what's your take on sort of that? Well, if the news media was doing its job, you'd have seen the rocks and bottles being thrown at agents, and the news media would be questioning what kind of parent takes their child across an international border in a mass incursion. Everything that happened yesterday was completely predictable, and those parents all ought to be ashamed of themselves for exposing their children to that. What is uh, Mexico's uh, you know, role in this? Do they have any complicity in, in what's, what's happening here? Mexico, Mexico continues to fail to secure its southern border, and they issue transit visas for people to come here with the express purpose of crossing our border illegally. So yes, Mexico has a lot of responsibility in this. Absolutely, and I want to thank, I really want to thank, Vincent James of the Red Elephants. Subscribed. Was that Vincent James who was recording this? I don't think so. Okay, well, um, this video needs to be circulated. Okay. Mexico's complicity in organizing, helping, aiding the transport of this caravan. Remember I posted this video which was Proof United Nations Driving Migration in Western Countries. Rothschilds, Rockefeller funded it and abandoned liars. Huh, I don't even understand my title, Abandoned Liars. Okay, well, um, in that video, I showed you this global compact, United Nations Global Compact for Migration, the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly, and Regular Migration. Oh, why can't we get through to our fellow citizens? And this is not just happening in the United States, but it's happening in all Western countries. It is deliberate. And it is the umbrella organization, the United Nations. And then they organize an awful lot of organizations, NGOs, the Red Cross, Red Crescent, to help out. But right before you get into the actual United Nations document and how they want this migration throughout the world, because they are working towards this new world order where everybody is the same. They don't want anybody to have any kind of national identity individual identity, racial identity, no identity. So they have to merge the world's people together to get that. As crazy as that sounds, we have so many crazy people involved in this. And unfortunately, they are very well-funded. Yes, money matters. Money matters. And when you have an awful lot of money, you can do an awful lot of crazy things. Permanent mission of Mexico to the United Nations. 
This is a letter that was written by the ambassador of Switzerland and Mexico to the Excellency of the United Nations. And what do they say? It is our conviction that the attached text represents the way forward on international cooperation in the field of international migration. Programs set up to get these caravans going. Um, this, uh, it's unbelievable. United Nations News. United Nations Agency assists Central American caravan migrants voices concern for receiving countries. Look at this Central American caravan. That the United Nations is helping to move it through countries and giving an awful lot of support and aid to all of the migrants. I read here, the IOM and the Mexican Secretary of Foreign Affairs are supplying food and basic hygiene kits to over 1,500 migrants seeking asylum in the country. What country? United States. All migrants must be respected regardless of their migratory status. Doesn't matter why you are crossing a border illegally. Countries, you cannot discriminate. In other words, it doesn't matter why they're crossing the border. The country that is being invaded needs, needs to respect and accept them, according to the United Nations. Okay, uh, they need protection, this caravan. 2,300 children. Well, we don't know that to be a fact. Just because the United Nations is saying it does not mean it's true. So here we have a picture of children. Of course they're going to put a picture of children in it. Because, well, for most people, that's enough proof I need that children, 2,300 of them, are walking across Mexico because they're fleeing their country's violence. No, they're not. Here, some 7,000 mostly Honduran migrants continue their journey northwards towards the United States. Governments must prioritize the needs of migrant children when it comes to applying uh, immigration laws and procedures. All right. Uh, I wanted to know what the IOM was. The United Nations Migration Agency, the IOM, is providing support and assistance to migrants crossing Central America in several self-styled caravans. Well, style is the operative word here because it is not 7,000 people who all woke up and we've got to, we have to escape our country because a war broke out. Anybody hear about a war in Honduras or Guatemala or El Salvador? No. No. In fact, we haven't heard anything. Anything new about those countries. Yeah, uh, our government, the CIA, pretty well destroyed those countries. So if the United States would just stop destroying countries, well, that would put an end to these migrants, right? Of course it would. But these migrants have been told. Now, do I have any evidence? Can I state this definitively? No. But these migrants have been told, join the caravan and we'll bring you to the United States and we will take care of you the entire way there. So the IOM is the International Organization of Migration, Global Migration, there's a film festival. <laughs> um, and you look at this. Oh, my God. It's so clear. I am a migrant. I am a migrant is a campaign. 
and platform, we create a place for the personal stories of migrants. We want to challenge the anti-migrant <laughs> opinion. I don't even have to look at that. We all know what it is. We're not anti-migrant. We just don't like being manipulated. We don't like the lies. We don't like the orchestration, the, the purposeful, deliberate orchestration of migrants to come into other countries so that the elite, psychopathic, nut job, uh, globalist, bankers, Rothschild, Rockefeller, so that they can destroy Western culture, everybody's identity, and bring us into a kumbaya world where everybody is the same and everybody has the same low standard of living. And we would like our sovereignty to be respected and immigration laws to be enforced. I don't know. It seems to me that's pretty reasonable. But no, you called hateful and racist and Nazi and, oh my God, well, there's a campaign to get rid of all of us who want national sovereignty laws to be enforced, uh, don't want our identity to be erased uh, for somebody else's pleasure. It's so tiring. What we are living is so tiring. Okay, getting back to the global compact. Now, there are going to be meeting December, <clears throat> just in, <laughs> I think, two weeks. Uh, these countries, there's a global compact summit. And Mexico, Switzerland, certainly are signatories. And my hunch is, if you did a little digging, you would find that so is Honduras in particular. Probably El Salvador, Guatemala, where this migrant caravan is uh, the countries that make up this migrant caravan. Migration and the 2030 agenda. Oh my God, it's just so clear. So obvious, so clear. Here's the evidence. You try to tell a fellow American, I'm not going to look at that. You're just crazy. You're right, hateful. You you don't like brown people. You are uh, a conspiracy theorist. Get away from me. Crazy, crazy. You need to be locked up. Whoa. Here, check this out. Holding on. Holding on. IOM, United Nations Migration. They have web, uh, they have YouTube channels. They, they've got videos. But here, it's short. Well, let's watch it together. Well, the conflict, the hazards, United Nations tell the United States, Israel, Saudi Arabia, the UK, or uh, the Britain, really, um, France, the NATO countries, you know, the countries that, that uh, form these coalitions. Why don't you just tell them to stop bombing countries? Hey, what an idea. Stop the conflict, guys, because the conflict is coming from Western countries. And these refugees, these migrants flooding into our countries, well, the story is they have to escape the their countries. Uh, there's so much war. The countries are destroyed. Who's destroying them? How, how do we get people to start thinking again? They flee their countries with nothing. 
Maybe a photo. A t-shirt. A camera? Hey, let me get my camera. I got to escape this violence. I don't have time to get anything else. What's the most important thing? Hey, a camera. Okie dokie. Okay, holding on. A virtual experience of an internal displacement. Oh. The International Organization for Migration's Global Migration Data Analysis Center. Yes, they collect an awful lot of data. Why? Because they need to know how their migration programs are working out. And you just saw that Mexico. Yep, Mexico gives them the data. Oh, wow, guys. All right. International Organization of Migration. Uh, programs, finance, committees, working groups, oh, governing body documents, distribution, classification. Yes, it's an intricate web of organizations that are working on bringing an awful lot of people to uh, nations, Western in particular, uh, to just erase everything about the receiving nation. But it'll, it won't be, we, we can't ever get this stopped. We cannot ever get this stopped because we do not have people in the world that think, that care, that want to check out what the hell is going on. Clearly, they don't even have any common sense. How did 7,000 people wake up on the same day and decide to flee their country with a camera um, and maybe a t-shirt because they had to escape the violence? Hey, have you heard what's going on in Honduras that's so different? El Salvador, that's so different. No, they don't ask those questions. They just sit and accept whatever it is they hear. Information Bulletin Central American Migrant Caravan. Huh. Where did I find this? On the International Organization for Migration's website. And what is this? Point of contact. Date of disaster. What was the disaster? Ongoing since 13 October. We don't even know what the disaster was. I guess they're escaping a disaster. Was there a disaster in Honduras in particular? In particular? Whew. All right. Currently involved in this operation, Red Cross, International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, Guatemalan Red Cross, Honduran Red Cross, Mexican Red Cross, Salvadoran Red Cross Society, International Committee of the Red Cross, other partner organizations involved in the operation, United Nations Systems, the Office for Humanitarian Affairs, High Commissioner for Refugees, International Organization for Migration, IOM, human rights, non-governmental organizations, NGOs, such as World Vision, local and national governments in affected countries. Wow. You know, when you think about migrants who are seeking asylum in another country, then you're thinking about these people really truly having to flee from some violence that's occurring in their country. And when they flee, they don't flee with 7,000, but they flee individually and they have to work it hard to walk through other countries, past their borders, uh, to not be detected 
in those countries. Otherwise, the police may stop them and ask them you know, where they're from and do they have a visa. Uh, they don't have all of these organizations helping them. So that's a clue <laughs> that this is orchestrated. But their local and national governments, the Honduran government, for example, those are the governments of the affected countries. Oh, so is the United States. Huh. So is Mexico. Because we're all affected by this, right? Faced with this situation, the governments of Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico, and the United States are urging the migrants to follow each, each country's immigration procedures. All of these countries, their governments, have known and are actually assisting in this caravan. Oh, this is this is really a trip reading. It's only four pages um, and you will see how all of these organizations they're so organized they have pre-medical care <laughs> they've got posts hydration posts they have information posts. They escort them. Over the last few days, the mobilization of the migrants from the municipality of Esquipulas, Polos, I don't know, was facilitated by dividing them into familial groups and transporting them by bus, trucks and heavy transport vehicles and Guatemalan citizens private vehicles as a show of solidarity with the migrants. It has been necessary to provide temporary shelter, basic first aid, constant hydration and transfers to hospitals to the migrants, civil society and religious organizations and Red Cross and volunteer firefighters help out. There's 200 Honduras returned said ah, to help this. They're keeping a very close tab on this caravan. Why? because this was orchestrated by the United Nations. And a whole lot of countries are involved in putting this together. Isn't it amazing? Religious and civil society organizations, the Mexican government, giving them visas easily here and here actions. Uh, the IFRC is the International Federation of the Red Cross and the IFRC I think that yeah it includes the Red Crescent. Um, Panama is closely monitoring the situation. Coordination between the IFRC's disaster and crisis department and country clusters. Continuous monitoring by the regional disaster management coordinator for Central America, migration officer in Guatemala, uh, country cluster support teams, <laughs> Honduras, uh, and or in Honduras, sending informational messages by the DM focal points, development of an information bulletin, um, ARO, ARO is Uh, Office of the Americas, well, 
uh, is maintaining continuous communication with the Guatemalan, Honduran, Mexican, Salvadorian national societies. Discussed the situation with external partners and explored potential joint partnerships, circulating key messages through the affected national societies communications network, disseminating information from the affected national societies through the IFRC social networks, and the ARO is maintaining close communication and coordinating actions jointly with the uh, ICRC's office in Panama. Contact information. How we work. Saving lives. Lives. Changing minds. My God. All right. I'll link below to everything. Um, we're shaping a sustainable future. You need to be a part of it. United Nations Global Compact. And one of the ways in which they shape a sustainable future is to break down the sovereignty of all nations and make us one happy family. Ciao, guys.